Hello everyone and welcome to Hoopla Kids Doodle. Today we are going to be drawing a goldfish. Isn't she lovely? And it's as simple as getting a pen and a piece of paper and some colouring pens for the end. So the first thing we'll do is draw a big semicircle and the same thing underneath. Now on one side we're going to do these frilly shapes here and this is to show that this is the tail of the goldfish and on the other side we're going to draw this funny sort of sausage shape here and one underneath and these are the lips of the goldfish now we're going to draw an eye and this is a medium sized circle with a small circle inside and another tiny one and we're just going to colour in the medium sized circle leaving a bit of white. Now we're going to draw the fin on the top using this frilly shape and then we'll add some more frilly decoration on this half of the goldfish. Now we're going to draw the bubbles coming out of the goldfish's mouth. We'll add a bit of detail which is a sort of C shape with a dot after it. Doesn't that look fab? And now we're going to colour him in and you can do any design you like on this lovely goldfish. And today we are going to draw a bumblebee. Isn't he lovely? And this is very simple and you'll just need a pen and a piece of paper. And the first thing we're going to do is to draw a medium sized circle, just like that. And then we're going to draw a circle next to it. Now we're going to draw a bigger circle that goes underneath these two circles. There we go. Can you guess what that is? Now we're going to draw a big line coming off our circle and a big old semicircle that joins up like that and that will be the body of our bumblebee. Now we're going to draw two small shapes coming off the body and these are the wings. We're going to add a bit of detail with a line and two smaller lines coming off it and the same on the other wing. And now we're going to add another circle inside those first circles we did. And we're going to colour them in. Can you see what this bit is yet? Yes, that's right, it's the head of our bumblebee. And we're going to give him a big smile. Now we're going to draw the detail on the body of the bee. And this is some big old lines going from one side to the other. And these will be the stripes on our bumblebee. Now we're going to add that all important sting. And we're going to give our bee some little legs and that's so he can land on the flowers. And we're just going to colour in the feet. Just like that. And we're going to give him two little antenna and these are just two swirly lines that come off the head of our bumblebee and now we're going to colour in the stripes this is good fun there we go lovely and those bits are yellow.
today we are going to be drawing this fantastic elephant. Doesn't he look happy? And it's going to be really good fun. And we're going to start at this point with the shape of the trunk. And we're just going to follow that up there and add a little smile line. And now we're going to add that big shape of the ear. And now a line around there for the back of the elephant. And a sort of squiggly line there. And another one next to it for the front two legs. And look at that, it's as simple as that to draw the back leg as well. And now we're drawing the belly, the underside of the elephant. And adding that fourth leg at that point. And now we'll put the detail of the feet of the elephant, just these three bumps here. Isn't that fantastic? Really easy. And if you need to pause the video at any point to give yourself more time, please do. It's a useful trick. And we're just going to add the little tail of the elephant here. Oh, isn't that cute? Now for the detail of the face, we'll do a round circle there for the eye and the pupil in the middle and of course some lovely eyelashes just for a bit of character. And inside the ear we'll do another shape there to show the detail and of course, as per usual, now we get the fun of colouring it in and you can really have good fun with the shading here. We really hope you've enjoyed drawing this elephant with us here at Hoopla Kids Doodle. Today we are going to be drawing this cheeky octopus. It's going to be so much fun and you'll be great at it, I know. So all you need is a pen and a piece of paper and of course some colouring pens. So we're going to start off drawing the big old head of the octopus and this is just three quarters of a big circle and off the bottom of that we're going to draw these rather crazy swiggly lines and these are going to be the legs of our octopus so we're just going to do the same line but a bit lower to create the leg and there we've already got two looking good and we're going to do the same. I've decided to do this shape for the leg, but you could do any crazy swirly shape you like. And there we go, there's leg number four. It looks brilliant already, doesn't it? And I've decided to put another leg here. There we go, I've joined all those up. And then, some of the legs are behind the octopus. So we'll do the shape a bit higher up, sort of like it's coming out of his head. Very nice, I think. And of course, octopuses have eight legs, so I've added that last one in there. Now we're going to do the detail on the octopus's face and these are two big old eyes and inside these circles we'll add another circle which we're going to then add two further circles so many circles and we're going to colour in that central bit there there we go lovely Wow! And we're just going to add a little cheeky smile. And I've just added another line underneath and coloured it in. And now it's for the fun bit where we're going to colour him in. And you can use whatever patterns, designs and colours you like. And you know that we'd love to see your picture so please do post it on the Hoopla Kids Doodle Facebook page. Today we are going to be drawing an owl. Wow, isn't that beautiful? So you just need a pen and a piece of paper and if you like, some pens to colour him in at the end. Right, so the first thing we're going to do is to draw a little line 
and make a triangle. Then we're going to draw a nice big circle on the side of our triangle and the same thing on the other side. Can you tell what this is? And now we're going to add another circle inside those two circles and this one's a bit more like the shape of an egg. And inside that we're going to draw these two tiny circles. And we're going to colour in the middle part of this, just like that. Don't worry if it's not perfect, it doesn't matter. There we go. I've decided to make that a bit bigger. I like the look of that. And now we're going to add just a line here and two triangles coming off either side of the line. I bet you can tell what it is now. It's the face of our owl. And then we just draw two big lines going down on either side and that's the body. And these two semicircles here are going to make up the wings. Now we're going to add a bit of detail here. We do a little pointy bit at the end there. And now we're going to add the feet of the owl, or the claws. And this is a shape, it's a semicircle with three pointy bits coming off of it. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. And then we just draw a line to join up the bottom part of the owl, like that. Now I'm adding some detail onto the wings to show the feathers. And this is just a squiggle, really, on either side. There we go, isn't that lovely? And now we're going to colour him in. And you can be as creative as you like at this part. Use any colours you like and we'd love to see your picture. Please put it on our Facebook page and we'll see you next time at Hoopla Kids Doodle.